Assalamu alaikum guys, hello and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you haven't yet checked out my new uh, vlog series, please go to www.inspowithtina.com. That'll be in the link below. You can go ahead and check that out, please. Um, and if you haven't read my latest blog post, then I am glad you're here because I don't have to read it. I don't know about you guys, but 2017 was one heck of a year. And I really want to make 2018 a great year and find a way to really start off the year in a positive way. So, so today what we're going to be talking about is really how to make 2018 a completely selfish year. And I'll explain more about that in a minute. So a lot of times in our society, when we talk about being selfish, we see it in a negative light. We see it as, you know, someone who is really egotistical, someone who doesn't have empathy, who can't really relate to other people. And because of this, our goal becomes to be selfless, to be more giving, to be, to think of other people before we think of ourselves. And I'm not diminishing this quality at all. It's a great trait to have. More people should have it. More people should try to be selfless. But the thing is, is that selfishness does not have to be negative. And the more selfish we are, or the more that we um, put work into ourselves and really build ourselves up, the more we can give to others and the more selfless we can be if that makes any sense. So with this list that I created for making 2018 a completely badass year, um, this list is really about building yourself up, really focusing on yourself and your goals, and just comp not, not feeling ashamed to be uh, selfish. So here we go, these are the five top things that you can do to make 2018 a completely selfish year. So here we go. Here is point number one. It is decision time. What does that mean? It means that all the things that we were afraid to do in 2017 and in the past, it's time to decide that we are not afraid of those things anymore and that it is our year to go and tackle those things. There's, you know, there's some, I know that I have a whole list of things that I want to accomplish this year and have been wanting to for a while, but I always let these fears stop me of that, you know, I'm not good enough or I'm not going to be able to accomplish. Uh, what I want because of any any barriers that I put in my mindset and the thing is is that success is only for the people who chase it and as soon as you decide that you're gonna chase it you will reach success no matter what it is and point number two put those dreams and make them into a visual I can't stress this enough and I know it's said a lot especially nowadays like um, dream boards and stuff like that is becoming something that's really popular which is a good thing but it's also becoming something that's a little cliche so now people aren't listening, <laughs> but I can't stress dream boards enough. I don't know about you guys, but I'm just obsessed with office supplies and colors and just making something, scrap scrapbooking basically. And it's something that you can apply to creating your dream board. You know, get, get a whiteboard, get a, a cork board, put sticky notes all over it, you know, put everything that you want to accomplish in list form and, and, um, and really go all out you know put any even the smallest goal that you want to achieve put it on there you know from main goals to what I like to call stepping stone goals you know step, uh, stepping stone goals are basically smaller goals that are gonna allow you to reach a bigger more long-term end goal uh, put all of them on your dream board in a place where you'll see it often you know I have one that is above my bed and if my room wasn't a mess I would show it to you but you can check out a picture of it on the blog if you go check out the website below the importance of turning your dreams into a visual is huge so I really encourage you to do that and if you want some uh, some tips and tricks on how you can make an amazing dream board then also check out the blog I got some links for you there and one of my favorites number three is transfer your thoughts into actions you know um, when we get motivated especially at the beginning of the year we and we start listing all of these things, we start thinking, oh, you know, I want to accomplish this and this and this and this, and it's great to dream big, it's great to get yourself motivated, but don't let it stop there. Whenever you start dreaming big, grab onto that and start turning it into action. Remember, any step is a step forward, and no matter what direction you take, it's either going to teach you a lesson or it's going to be the first step in an amazing journey that's going to get you super far. So you can't lose regardless of whatever step you take. 
so go for it. it. Turns your thoughts into action. And number four, bullet goals. A lot of times, especially you know when people are creating their New Year's resolutions, they decide, oh, I'm gonna make this huge list of goals that I wanna accomplish uh, by the end of the year. And um, even though that's amazing, you know, but <laughs> that only leads for procrastination. If you're like me, then you are a horrible procrastinator and you save everything to the last minute. And that's why on December 31st, we're all scrambling and saying, shoot, why didn't I accomplish all the things that I wanted to this year? So instead, change that to monthly goals or even weekly goals and change those into bullet goals. So bullet goals are shorter, more short-term goals that you can accomplish in a shorter amount of time. So instead of a year, you can accomplish them in a week or in a month. Um, and it doesn't have to be an end goal that you're gonna accomplish in that month. It could be, like I was talking about earlier, a stepping stone goal, a goal that's gonna get you um, towards a bigger goal that you might finish at the end of the year, but it'll still keep you, um, you know, headed on the right path and it'll still, you'll still feel like you're accomplishing something on the way to achieving that big thing, that big more long-term thing. All right, and for number five, I think this honestly might be one of the most important ones on the list. I think I said that about one of the other ones, but this one's definitely the most important one. And that's because no matter how many goals you set for yourself, no matter how hard you chase after that dream that you have, it is important to remember that life happens, you know, and we ultimately we don't have control over what our end result is or what you know, what plan is out there for us, what karma is out there to get us. So, you know, don't let that discourage you from achieving your goals, but also realize that in, in that journey of achieving your goals, if you do face those setbacks and if you do face those obstacles, don't let it discourage you because those are factors that you can't control. So focus on the factors that you can control, which is the ones that you're going to be working towards. The obstacles, they can stay where they're at. You know, that's just life but don't dwell on them so much that it stunts you from growing as a person or from making your 2018 amazing. And that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for stopping in. Again, I hope you will be back because I'm gonna be posting these definitely more often. And uh, please tune in to inspowithtina.com. Give me any suggestions that you might have and I will catch you in the next video. Have an amazing 2018. Assalamu alaikum and I'll see you in the next video.